enthalpy stoichiometry is something that looks a little intimidating at first, but if we piece the ideas that we did from stoichiometry and we put it together with ideas from the enthalpy calculations that you learned earlier, it turns out that things are not that challenging. So I have two problems in front of us here that we're going to work through very quickly. And you will actually see it's the same pattern, and so all of the problems get solved very quickly the same way. So it's really just a two-step. If you're given grams, you're going to convert that grams to moles, and then you're going to compare the number of moles to the amount of total energy within the system. So let's look at problem number one. And problem number one says that we have, uh, it's asking how much heat is going to be transferred when you have 5.81 grams of graphite that reacts with the hydrogen gas. So we look right here and we can see that it's six moles of carbon. That's the, the graphite. Okay, Six moles are reacted with three moles of the hydrogen gas in order to produce one mole of C6H6. And notice it is a positive value here of 49.03 kilojoules. So, we go, okay, hmm. that's a positive value, which tells us that it is endothermic. That's number one. All right, next, we're going to look and say, well, it's asking for 5.18 grams. So we need to convert 5.18 grams. We need to convert that to moles. How do we do that? Well, we simply divide by the molar mass. The molar mass of carbon is 12.01. Okay. Now this value of 49.03, that's for six moles. So we somehow have to figure out per mole. So we're going to go 49.03 divided by the six. We're then going to do a comparison. So how does it look all together? Well, it looks like this. All right. We have the 5.18 grams. We're converting that to moles by dividing by the 12.01. And we know that it's 49.03 for six moles right here. So we end up with a positive value of 3.95 kilojoules. So in our example here, this enthalpy stoichiometry problem, we know is endothermic. All right. Let's look at the second one. Second one is the same idea. How much heat is released with 1.48 grams of chlorine? All right. And we have excess of the phosphorus. Look at our amount here. It's negative 866 kilojoules. Hmm. That's for five moles of the chlorine. So we're going to convert the 1.48 grams of chlorine to moles. We're then going to make sure we take the minus 866 and divide it by the 5. How's that going to look? Well, it's going to look this way. There it is. We take the 1.48. We divide it by the molar mass of chlorine, which is 70.9. We're then going to multiply that out by the 866 divided by 5. We get a negative 3.62 kilojoules. That is exothermic. So they're pretty easy, aren't they? What's even easier, if they give you moles here, then you go, oh, OK. Then I just simply use moles across here. So it's moles times whatever you have on the heat divided by the number of moles from the equation. All right. I hope that helps. Uh, I know that's a lot of confusion at the beginning when you first look at these, and it's intimidating. But we just use the idea of stoichiometry, convert to moles, make sure we interpret the equation properly. All right. Good luck.